Women who rescued him from a house fire. WTVA's Alexis Jones is live in Tupelo where the man expressed how thankful he was for the city's first responders. One man got to say thank you to the people who saved his life after they found him unconscious in a house fire. Be glad, to, be glad that we're, they're here for us when we need them. Tupelo resident Dennis McCullough said if it weren't for Tupelo's police officers and firefighters, he wouldn't be here today. Here and I appreciate the fact that I am here and I hope that uh, other people will get as lucky as I did when, I, when they come to get here. On February 6, McCullough's home caught on fire while he was sleeping. McCullough said he and his dog Flint got trapped inside his bedroom. I went to look and I went down, I'm going to go down the hallway and the fire was coming down the hallway and I couldn't get out of my bedroom. Tupelo police officers first arrived to his home and started breaking the windows. Firefighters rescued McCullough from his bedroom window soon after. Battalion Chief Bill Wardlaw said because of the heavy smoke, his team did CPR on McCullough until he was able to breathe on his own. One guy went in that bedroom to help Mr. McCullough, but we had other crews that were on the other end of the house trying to put the fire out simultaneously. Lots was going on. Today, McCullough got to thank the men and women who saved his life. Chief Wardlaw said it was a blessing to see him standing today. It's really cool to see him, and it's really nice for these guys to get a little bit of recognition. McCullough said even though he isn't living in his house anymore, he's just happy to be alive. Live in Tupelo, Alexis Jones, WTVA 9 News. How to win a lifetime supply of McDonald's french fries. 